welcome everybody back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, I just ended the Previously other episode. Previously on Game of Thrones. Previously on Game of Thrones. Last episode. To ensure this trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Oh, Lord. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. He's my uncle. Patrick? Everything's still going strong. Still going strong. Testing one, two, yeah, it's going strong. Roderick, by the gods, it is you. Sir? They found Fetch the, the master, out. hurry! Fetch the master. Fetch the master. <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> And I stabbed him. You. And you kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Oh God, I didn't even see his until hand. Until you and your friend Last are time. dead. I enjoy that scream. Feels my dreams. Okay, who is playing as? Before the episode ended, it showed a screech. I'm suspecting this is the desert because she's been gone a while. Yeah. She'll come back. I don't know what the fuck kind of animal is that, and I don't want to. If they to know. catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> Ring long water. It's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? Yeah. It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> I'm dying though. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. We could find water right. if we kill these. Waiting to get moving. Come on now. The Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? You really should have killed Tazar when you had the chance. Men like that don't forgive. You cut off his hand. Not the kind of thing a person forgets about another person. He was defenseless. I didn't see a need to shed more blood. And how's that working out for you at the moment? I it's only a matter of time before they overtake us. But I do and I did enjoy that scream though. Can we climb that? Ah! Bugger a harpy! We can climb that. Can we double back? Not without meeting dear old Tazal. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, what about that when the Skahazadan right floods, there? it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. You're I mean, looking right at the out. moment, but we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Let's spread out and look for cover. It's right fucking there. 
If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. But the fucking wall right there that has what a do you crack think? in it. Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asher. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reach the top. Come on. Come on. Well, we can't stay. Cave? It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. But what about that fucking crack that's right there? Right there. Anything around? At least? Oh, dead man. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these... Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Wait, wait, wait. I hear water. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh, shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Que Sirizzi! Shit! Come on! I actually thrust it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to die here. Damn it! Sasha! Find us another way out of here! Got it! That place what is too high to climb. What hells is that smell? There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off! I mean, they are coming one by one, and What's that growl? Uh... Eska! I'll come! Hi. Hi there. How's it going, sir? Easy now. Please, God, don't kill me. Retreat! game would do this. Oh, I gotta save her. Hey! Hey! Over here! Get away from her! Hey! Hey! Oh, fuck me. We have to move. 
Now! Uh, Malcolm! Uh, Can you walk? I, I'm fine. I've fought wars with worse than this. Hurry! The beast is coming around! Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Asha! Grab my hand! Hurry, Asha! Come on, come on. Nearly on you! Dragon? A fucking dragon? A fucking dragon? What the fuck? What in the actual fuck? Oh my god. That was intense. When I heard when I heard that screech in the previous episode, I thought it was gonna be like some sort of giant fucking bear line or some shit. Possibly a fucking uh, what you call it, a chimera. No, it's a fucking dragon. I'm surprised Telltale Games did what they did. Usually when you have to choose between one or the other, one dies. Go to the fucking doctor. Give me a hug before I die. Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Great. Got it. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Great. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. I wouldn't be much of a friend if I did. I wasn't much of a friend for dropping you into the mess in the first place. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. I didn't steal from you. Next, here. you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. I didn't take anything from you. No, but you protected the bastard who did. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. Enough already. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. One count on it. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobo to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. I'm not a ranger. Cotter to the builders. I'm no ranger, am I? And finally... Garrett to the rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up, and follow my lead. An easy explosion can come it can make that wall tumble straight down. 
Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. Give me that dirty look one more time. I didn't stab have you. many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Yep. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Trying to be less of an arse. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes too. Sounds like it was about the no one right here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I. Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Then don't worry. You were born to kill wildlings. When I punched you the other day, most men would have gone down like a sack of potatoes. But you gave it right back to me. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. Are the trees moving in the... <laughs> the trees are moving in the background, what the fuck? We're here. After this, there's no going back. Alright. Now go. Take your vows. Already taken. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Why does that tree have a face in it? It's creepy. Hear my words and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers and now my watch begins. Hear my words and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers and now my watch begins. It shall not end, shall not end until, my until my death. I shall take no wife. I shall take no wife. No lands. Hold no Father, lands. No children. Father, no children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear crowns no crowns and win no, and win glory. no glory. I shall, I shall live, live and die, and die at, my at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher am the on the walls. On the walls. I am the shield am that guards the, shield the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. <laughs> Welcome to your new family, Garrett. That's fucking terrifying. Shake his hand.
you look at the tree the right way, it looks like an octopus. We're made of the watch now! Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. <laughs> Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? <laughs> no fucking way. It's Duncan. Don't forget the practice shots. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with a Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. Yep. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck him. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Ooh. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. It can't be too hard to get north of the wall. I'm sure there's a way. As a ranger, that shouldn't be a problem. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I'll I agree, it. Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. I'll do it. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't Here know. The way, it's a map. The to the North Grove. Aye. Is that a fucking mammoth? A mammoth? <laughs> This map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. I used to be frightened of where we're trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. Castle you said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, too. I wonder. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. 
Now that I would love to see. <laughs> Hear the werewoods whisper. Where, where am I putting this? Look, there's a clasp. It must open. Open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Fucking suck. Genius. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. In the mouth? How about there? That looks. Uh, three things there. Nah. This can't be it. God damn it, I meant to pick it up. Somewhere out in buttfuck Egypt. Stay right. Rotate. Nothing. Rotate. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. God damn it. Wait, I see a face in that. Look at that. Oh. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. Two hours late. The werewood's mouth. Uncle. Have you not Whatever this place that out? is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, got it. Catch you. I don't know. They're probably like little little shards or something. Like a weapon. Well, well that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked <laughs> like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. It would be good to have help. One hurt. God damn it. Character switch. Yep. God damn it. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. You did not. 
If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Oh, you Hold won't. on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Are I don't you want blind? To be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie you're won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. I saw that. I saw the, the kid. Yeah. Go to him. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. What up? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime... Just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. Don't worry about we it. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first please tell me I don't have to listen Garrett, to all of this. And he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they separate. Thank God I don't have to listen to it. A list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure. I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. I hate you. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? 
What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Goddamn. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please, don't send me home. This can't happen again. Who the fuck is Tyrion? Isn't it that dude with the scar? What the fuck is going on? Ah. What the fuck is going on out there? Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. Royland? Oh, God. Character switch already? No, I don't believe that. Okay. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. Well, that may if I allow you in my hall, will that secure the peace? I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. No thanks. This is against the King's law. 
You've no right to make such demands! I have every right! What right do you We're have? We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North! So I will be in your halls! I will be in your courtyard! I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, little bastard! You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers, that's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Ooh. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! I may you can't go in there. Me. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Ooh, I'm going to add another prick to the list of head chopping up the ass. Add another one. Because pretty soon he's going to get what he deserves. Griff Whitehill. That's not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. They're going to die, don't worry. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Um... Hold on, guys. Oh, Dan. All right. Don't don't tell me I gotta choose. Oh God, I gotta choose. Expel Griff. Save Ryan. Of course, I'm gonna fucking save Ryan. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the Whitehills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home. Let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor. At the twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. God that means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. 
She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. Man, if we have, have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? I feel like there's a scene where this guy's gotta wake up with somebody pissing on him. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. I do. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Set the meeting. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Oh, for now. Good. Yeah. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. Who are we switching to now? I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. Yep. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Yes, of course. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. Uh, I'll shit. return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. Oh, she hates me now. I'm sorry. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. I know the Crown doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Don't blame me. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Bitch. Come with me, Sarah. So, let me get this straight. This, this chick was helping me. Trying to help my family. She couldn't do anything. And now the queen's brother is doing something. Gary, easy now. Sorry, I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? Have you ever heard of the North Grove? He came to ask about it. Is that so? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees as tall as the sky. Garrod, you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. 
I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. No. It can't be. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing This one to the Boltons. It'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. We'll practice swords to Gary, start. what's the matter? You know him. He's the one Come that on. murdered my family. Moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. Ooh, I'm gonna do exactly that. If it isn't the fucking pig bomber. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. I'll be seeing you with your head cut off. Oh, don't tell me character switch already. They switch characters too much in this damn game. God damn it. Fuck this wedding, I can give not two shits about the, it, this, this isn't goddamn fair. wedding. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. Sarah, this has nothing to do with me. The only reason we're down here is so Cersei can shame Lady Marjorie. We're just pawns in their game. So, what gave you the idea that you could play? I hope whatever you got from Tyrion was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. I don't when know I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. She knows it wasn't my fault. Tyrion approached us. Look, you once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. <laughs> I'm not letting her send you home. Don't want to Look, be sent home. Oh, they're already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. You've made a mistake. No. Uh. Seven hells. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Oh, boy. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. 
Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Mm. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. What know you? He expects something in return. I don't know. Not even a guess? Nah. Don't he know. only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest Ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. I already knew that. Like little toys. I'm not so easily played, my lord. <laughs> you think I don't know exactly what Tyrion was doing? My lady, why do you think I'm talking to you? I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. Oh no, I don't what trust you anybody. Need more than anything is an ally. I don't trust you. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? So An alliance me. can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. I don't know who that Circumstances is. have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, I don't very trust rich anybody. together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What happened? Oh, no, no, no. Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. Can you help me get it out? I have my own affairs to deal with. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. He's you. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly well, disappointing to see it on the end wins. of a pike. We have many toys in our arsenal. They're coming to question me, aren't they? Oh shit. It's locked. You're not getting in this way. You Tom, son of a what fuck. in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's Something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. Do! <sighs> Head in there. I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where I... Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. It's no. not worth your life. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I guess I better not die then. Wait here. You were I'll willing to jump you know and it. kill yourself for me. 
No! Oh my god. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. I'm sorry. I was just... I'm leaving right now. Not so fast. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Moves. Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece Come of paper. On. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Bum, bum, Tom! Bum. You can do this. On, on his desk, he said. On his desk. Um, uh, uh, that's not it. That's not it. This is the desk. He said that it would be on his desk. Open the door. God damn it. Is it in the strong box? strong box. Oh, it must be in here. Vera, I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh, no, it's the other one. Damn it. Mate, hide. I'll find a way to distract them. Where am I going to hide? Where am I going to hide? Hide in there! Oh god. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Yo, oh god! Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! They're gone. <sighs> you did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think, I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. Uh, try the ski. <gasps> it worked. How the it's fuck this. did I know that? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it. Finally, let's go. I catch the bastard who I'll wring their bloody neck. How the fuck did I know it was that key? God damn. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? That's what our ironwood trees. Oh my god. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. I won't. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. You see what our family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. I'm obviously gonna stay protected. I'm not stupid. Wait a minute, isn't that that? Isn't this the. No fucking way. It's this place. It's.
Anybody? I don't see anybody. Let's deal with this axe. Is she in here? I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Soon, and there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. I should have said that. No, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? Yeah. I need to hear course. you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me uh, to bring price? an end to this war? I want to know the price before I agree to pay it. I'm no fool. It seems that you are, because you clearly don't understand. Didn't this mean is like the that. only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have to do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. But what the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know. But whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses. All your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. If someone's betrayed me, I'll find them and cut their throat myself. Deliver justice to your people however you like. You'll have to find them first. And I don't know who it is. Please don't let we him be We know you're sentiment. planning to no, rescue Ryan. Happening. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace you between have my our word. families. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Even though I might kill him Thank in the you. end. I know I'm gonna kill him at the end. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. My lord? Go, oh, you fucking moron. Come along, Duncan. Come along, Duncan. Duncan Donuts. Switch to the characters. What the fuck? Oh, we didn't switch at all. What the fuck? No, not the fucking port portrait. Mother. Roderick. Look. 
What's become of our house? You were nowhere to be found, and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? It means to save Griff everybody. Griff is already yeah. a torment. How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff. Even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? We have a traitor. You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard. It's not Duncan. But I never thought Perhaps this would Royland. happen. I have to say, Royland worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? Duncan? Dun Duncan Almost is loyal. Or Tengren. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there! Go and get in there. Get in there. Get in there. No, 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 no. You do what you're told. Please, I'm just going to go. Fuck him, Wolf. No, no, no. He was standing over there. No, no, no. He was standing over there. Fuck him, Wolf. Get down there. Let's turn him on some respect. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there and die like a good man. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. I'll play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, lord. What is this? What are you bastards doing? Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house, right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before. But, um, it gets better every time. You wanna play? Yeah, we wanna Give play. me the knife. No, no, that won't do. If you won't be Ethan, you'll just have to watch and see how it's done. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Oh, no, Ethan! I'm going to murder each and every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, better than the real eater. What about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty oh. my blade with your blood. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Make his mother watch. Now we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Mm. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. I had to hold the urge just to not 
fucking strike him in the face with that fucking cup. They'll get what they deserve. I'm a murderer. All of them. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's up? What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. I swear. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. If you start to kill me, I can't, I can't promise anything. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. I got this. Duff! Definitely got this. Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. Ah, it's all right. I just wanted a quick look. Just ask him that. Stealing. Next time. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you said he was just visiting. But I think there's more to it than that, isn't there? Tell them. We could use I noticed this people. part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. It's actually in a... Lord Forrester knew all about it. It's a fortress. Hidden from the world. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> Where'd you hear these rumors? You know, I can't, I can't really remember. I, uh, I hear things around Castle Black. People talk. Not about the North Grove, they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. What does it matter? It was nothing. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You 
You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and, well... Well, they sentenced me here, to Castle Black, for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Carter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrett. I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. No, you're still my friend, dude. Are we... Are we still friends? Yes. I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! <laughs> I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Let's do it. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please. Don't tell anyone about me. I won't. The watch would kill me if they found out. I won't. Character swap. Who am I now? Asher? Fuck is this? Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. You're right. Never better. Yeah, I burned pretty bad. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. <laughs> no. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave. You made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. There was no time to think. Beska was just closer. Well, Fasher, but don't lie to me. I know you too well. <sighs> Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. They're not. All your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, it's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. God damn. I trust the chick more than him because she's fucking badass. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too no. well. I thought you said you were friends. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher, oh my god! Forrester. Son of a Dead. toxy whore! Oh my god, don't do that ever fucking again! It just cut to him getting punched and I get, that scared the fuck out of me, holy hell. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Are we well, even now? Well? You get it out your system? Not by half. You never understood consequences, Asher. 
One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Do I get to choose? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I get am reasonable! Off. I'm letting him fucking choose! Get the fuck off me, Croft! I'm not playing your games! This is no fucking game, Asher. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asher! Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to this. Let him go. Fuck you, Croft. Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Oh my god. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are you? Are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. I thought I actually... Your my friend balls has an get interesting off. sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. If you don't join me, my family will die. I'm here because I need your Croft. Oh, shit. I don't even know your fucking family and you're breaking my heart. <laughs> I swear by the warrior, I'd help you if I could, but it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Impossible. Covered in black scales, big orange eyes, and breath like the doom of Valeria. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. <sighs> I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. <laughs> Croft. I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. What if I do? What if I do? Character switch already, goddamn. Oh, we leaving? Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, 
You've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. All right. Fair enough. Light. And light. What else am I missing? That's ironwood for sure. Spears. Are there more torches over here? Rip. Oh, lot. There's somebody coming up. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. Who that? Pig farmer. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters, but this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brent. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Right. Gary the Merciful, sparing the lives oh, of everyone you. who does him wrong. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? Are you trying to bled him me at off? first? Like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out. You're not worth it. <sighs> You're not no. worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, that was fucking close. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Come get it. Finally getting there. I want to fight ya. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you. What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Oh boy. Let's see if you scream like you. I'm not going to fucking kill him. You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. I or can't you kill afraid? a brother. I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Come on! Dude, I don't want to fight you! Just stop. Dude, come on. Stop. 
Que ça Que ça This fucking finishes. Go on. We're done here. Did he die anywhere? You know, I I didn't murder him. Finn. God damn it, Finn. I. He fucking. Ooh. God damn it, Finn. I didn't choose to do that. My lord. He fought me. Are starving. And afraid. Should have just kicked them off. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way! And so they come to us, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? If we can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. You're here. Look. Look at this! Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. Leave her this the fuck alone. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. She bit your man. How did that happen? What did he do to her? That doesn't matter. It matters what she did. What, how, what do you mean that doesn't matter? I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Get Don't yourself. make this ugly. Your men are out of control. That's the problem here. It's your people who don't know the order of things. This girl's as untamed as a wildling. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. My sister, she made a mistake. That's all. She is but a child, and this arrangement tests us all. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. She's not the only one who's made mistakes. And Whoa. the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Hate you. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Wait, forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be shy, dog. That's how I like to see you, Foresters. Obedient servants! He's a loyal member of my house. A man of peace. And he deserves to be treated as such. You don't get it, do you? You foresters need to learn when you're beaten. You made the you biggest fucking, fucking mistake ever. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Take him, Royland! My bloody pleasure. 
I'll fucking kill you myself! No. Make him watch this. You son of a bitch. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! Get back up. Stop. I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. I'm going to murder this Reef fuck. Didn't know his place either. Oh, that's it. No, nope. no, nope. I can't do it. Nope. Him good. <laughs> Talia here will meet the same end. Can I cut your head off yet? Good little forester. You learn your place. And stay down. Some forester is gonna learn their lesson today. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! My lord! What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Who there! Or yeah. you're next! <laughs> Please, I'm Lord going Rivers, not the to if murder persist, Lord the may fuck lose out it. of you. Now, stay down. Tell me! Will you be a good little I'm not forester? gonna be a fucking bitch. Oh, you, you can't. I can't. You. You should fear me. I'm in charge here! You're nothing but a fucking dog. I you know what they you. did to me at the twins? Shred my face. Put their swords through me. Tried to smash my skull open. But they couldn't kill me. And you're not the man to finish the job. Don't think this is over, Roderick! You'll see! I will make you suffer for this! Trust in that! I'm not a fucking bitch. I'm the gas mass society. We don't give up. And knock the fuck down. My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He we'll couldn't kill you. We'll never give down. up. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. Oh, I'm going to fucking murder him. I wish it would let me get up and punch him. I would have fucking did that. I'm pissed. I'm just straight up pissed. Ooh, I should have punched him when he had the chance. <sighs> you see that? The fuck happened there? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. Bloody More force. severe. Form up. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. I would never let him hurt you. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'd do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. I'm going to murder him. And I'm better. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the ironwood. We are. 
all of us. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet, but... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I will get stabbed and stabbed and stabbed. I can't believe it. I will still get back up and bring the tanks and jets to the party. What are you party. waiting for? Ah, burn it. There's no good that can come from this. Not anymore. The Khaleesi will see you now. Try to keep your head about you. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. I'm just waiting for the episode where I get to chop the son of a bitch's head off. I'm going to chop his father's, his, every fucking soldier he has. Next time on Game of Thrones. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen. Deal with your friend. Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Carried. It's time to go. Is that the end? 51% save. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. You and 48 defied and spoke to Terry. God damn it. You and 68% walked away from Brit. At the end, I had to kill him. You and 32% stood up to Griff. Oh, I shouldn't have burned that shit. I, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna stay down and be a bitch. I was gonna get up and show him what the gas mask society is made of. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.